So just some um, rambling about the LTO uh, BMS board and the idea of adding uh, our own balancing circuit to these boards uh, because unfortunately we're unlikely to be able to unlock the onboard balancing although we can read the voltages. So what we have at this end of the board is uh, are the pins from the cell connectors and these all come to this end of the board here and there's a nice row of um, tall pins at this end of the board. Um, now the height of the various components on the board is, um, is up and down. This is the highest component here, this little tiny capacitor. Uh, and we have basically the room from this point here to this point here for a circuit board that could fit on top of our um, stock BMS LTO BMS board. So uh, you can't really solder a PCB directly onto these pins as they don't protrude high enough and obviously the board would not then lay flat. Um, so I think what the best thing to do would be make a tiny little adapter board which converts this configuration here that you can see into a standard row of upright seal pins. So we have a tiny little printed circuit board on here uh, soldered onto these pins with another row and it basically just sits there like that with a row of pins. Then we can attach our own circuit board to this simple row of um, seal pins which will be upright. So this is a circuit board of one of those um, 12 cell um, balancing um, boards and uh, if you look very closely it has these uh, tiny little chips on here and uh, these are 3.6 volt chips but the supercapacitor ones that we can get in fact I've just ordered some just to test uh, to give us the 2.65 volt balancing voltage so I've ordered some of those so my intention is to desolder these when they arrive these 3.6 volt ones and attach some 2.6 volt ones and uh, we'll see how the boards perform now this is a, a slightly bigger version uh, here's a smaller one this is the one I used on my supercapacitors so if you imagine um, desolder this, these chips at the end these four chips here and fit um, the 2.6 volt version on instead and then this board if you look here really fits quite nicely in this available space that we have here so if we rolled our own board well, for, the, for the purpose of the demonstration I'll probably just solder all the connections but if we had our little adapter board at this end with the upright sill pins and then we rolled our own simple straightforward rectangular square rectang PCB that fits in here you can see that we can get 12 channels of balancing into this space and that would make a very simple little <coughs> circuit board which could fit into the available space there for um, automatic balancing obviously we keep our eye on the uh, voltages because we have the LTO cell voltage monitoring capability now but the gist of it is this is the available space we have easily these are the connections for the cells. We make a little tiny adapter PCB for here, which converts these pins here into some upright sill pins. We then attach our own rolled printed circuit board, which will be very simple with um, half of these components on, uh, to the top of it here. And we just use the old ubiquitous double-sided tape on the bottom of this board here and stick it down onto the top of the uh, rest of the circuit board seem to me it'd be a very easy way to add a balancing facility to these LTO boards and keep it nicely underneath the um, top. So there we are, that's my thoughts at this time.